girl gel beauty 87 here and today we're gonna do a palette mashup situation now remember i told y'all i ended up grabbing this because it was like 50 percent off on um netaport like i told y'all before don't ever buy wait on charlotte tilbury to go on sale on sephora with the 20 percent off just go to netaport's website and buy it because this was 50 percent off so i paid 34 for this and i think it's like 58 or something like that and then i got this to use with it today so we're gonna do a palette mashup with pillow talk and she's in party or she's in parties um i like um this purpley shade in here so i'm gonna do something with that and i might use a couple of these shimmers in the front i'm not really feeling the shimmers toward the back but i was thinking maybe we could do a reddish type of tone thing where i use this one and this one and then i use some of the tones in this one so let me open it up so y'all can see what it looks like up in here um i want to do something a little more subtle because i'm just um watching movies with one of my friends so i don't want to be out here looking real extra although i will if i feel like it but you know in general i don't as you can see a lot of these shades i feel like don't match my skin tone that well i feel like this purple is really similar to the one that she used in parties but i'm gonna just stick to this little corner right here just because you know why the hell not um so i'm most likely just gonna take this shade right here and, and along with that dark purple i showed you and then maybe i'll try one of the shimmers in here since I'm mainly trying to focus on this palette instead of the other one. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking more grungy, romantic -y type vibes for eyeshadow. Just because um, when I see colors like these, I always think of romantic vibes for um, eye looks. So that's what I'm going to go with most likely. Um, let me see. That brush we're going to use for out of V. I need one to dust in the crease. I think after all this time, y'all still be prepared with, like, brushes. But alas, I am not. So, that's, yeah. We're just going to be struggle busting at you real quick. How are you? Yep, awesome. Mm -hmm, totally. No, I'm just like, um, hmm. I guess I'll take this diffuse crease brush right there. And then I got one out for the shimmer. Okay, so that's going to be enough for right now. So, I'm going to start with that Shane Mean Streak. The one I showed you before this one. I started literally just put it in the outer v in the corner that's it we're not gonna put it anywhere else just like right in here and there so the only place i'm putting it. i want to make sure this is dark enough when i put my um lighter mat in the crease and then i'll figure out what i'm gonna do with the lid in a second but i'm literally trying to darken out the outer v right now so that's why I'm only putting it right here. Like, I don't even want it going up the crease. I literally just want the outer V to be, like, this dark, vampy color. I feel like it'd be nice to mix the pinks and, like, the dark purples in this palette, which is why I chose to do a palette mask instead of just using that palette on own. I feel like it'll be too soft and it won't necessarily go with my skin tone on its own because the shades she chose in there are not, you know, necessarily brown girl friendly. If anybody's curious on my lips, I did the original combo that I did when I um, used this eyeshadow palette, which is the Juvia's Place, a mauve moment with the Gloss Sis and the Lip Liner Cola. So that's what's on my lips right now. It's one of my favorite combinations to do because y'all know I love me a nice pinky mauve lip. I don't go for traditional nudish browns and reds. No, y'all know Sister Girl is heading toward a mauve um, color. So now I'm taking the shade from the Dream palette. Y'all know the one we talked about, this red right here. I'm about to start rubbing that all up in my crease. And I figured it'd give like an interesting contrast to the eye look as well, which is another reason I want to do it. Then I might put a darker vampire shimmer in on the lid. I don't know, we'll see. I'm liking the way this is looking, actually. I like got a whole lot. And y'all know, I don't usually like her shadow, so I'm like, hmm. I'm like, maybe I should use a shimmer out of her palette, too, instead of a shimmer out of the melt one. Because I know I like their stuff, but... 
I'm mainly just trying to get some darker vampire colors that I felt like would work with my skin tone out of the melt palette just in case you know this palette didn't work out for me but so far it's working okay like you see the red tones are just popping and then you got that dark purpley blackish shade on that outer um v that i'm here for excuse me and then i'm a um Take this clean blending brush and go ahead and blend over the top a little bit. So Okay, I'm liking. Yeah, I'm definitely liking the way that looks. Um, let's watch some of the um shimmers in here now that I see the coast is somewhat clear. Get that one, and that one. So these are the two that are in the palette. Um, got this darker red, and then a sort of lighter pink. So I'm like, maybe I do like a gradient where I take the darkest shade in the milk palette and put it on the outer V, and then work my way with these to like put this red in the middle and then put this lighter pink toward the front i'm thinking about doing that so let's see let me see what darker colors in here i like that lost i don't really like that one sleepwalk looks kind of nice so this is lost control and this is sleepwalk i definitely like the lost control better than more than the sleepwalk one because it's like it's already dark on the outer v and the point of the shimmer i feel like it's to give it a little bit of life back to it so i'm gonna probably go in with the sleepwalk color this purple i showed y'all right here and then we'll work our way forward with this um red and then we'll put the pink toward the very very front that's what i'm thinking so let's see because i pulled out one shimmer brush to do two shimmers with but since we're doing a third one now i need to find another brush take this dominique cosmetics um the packer brush and take the sleepwalk shade and start putting it out of me. I'm trying to make sure I position it mainly on the outer V so that way it doesn't disturb when I go to put on the other shades since you know they're not gonna be exactly the same color they're gonna be a little different and I want them to be able to like blend pretty well together so I think if I put this just on the outer V when I start putting it on the lid you won't be able to like notice that there's a purpley shimmer there because I'm blending it in nicely plus it's lightening out the outer V a little bit and it still has a little punch to it is what i wanted so now it's in a corner color i don't know but you know we'll get there um so i'm gonna take that darker shade in the dream section i'm literally just using the dream section of this palette that's it but i'm taking the red shade that we talked about and putting it right up in here i'm using natural hair number two from refer well so far I'm pleasantly surprised by this Charlotte Tilbury palette because that's actually blending and working pretty nicely and I wasn't like expecting it to, so that's good. So I just expected this to be another disappointment, but I mean like for 50 some odd dollars, I feel like she should be doing better. But the first palette I bought from her was 50 some odd dollars and it wasn't impressive to me at all. So it's like, that's not saying anything. I feel like she's another one like, it miss brands when it comes to eyeshadow because this is the first palette I've had from her that I actually like out of all the palettes that I've tried from her and this is like I think the third palette I would have tried from her and I finally found what I like so I guess it's like they say the third time is a charm because like first two palettes I was like oh she don't go sit her ass down some with this 50 whatever dollar price point I still feel like this isn't worth the 50 whatever dollars but maybe I just need to find one of the color stories that works better for like my skin tone but I feel like since she doesn't really cater that well to my skin tone that it would be hard for me to find one 
but the formula I actually like too. So I feel like she's like, um, what's the lady's name? Um, Natasha, and they be coming up with all these different formulas too. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. I don't know. Like I heard, like, what's the girl's name? Morgan Turner talking about a jewel pop, um, one, and then another one. I'm like, look here, ma'am. Like, I think it's fine that y'all be trying to be creative and different, but at the same time, it's like, if the formula ain't good, stop trying to just push down the market anyway and expecting people to pay these highest prices. That, that's my problem when brands do stuff like this. It's like, that's fine, but, you know, you need to lower this price if it's not going to be as good as the other one was. But ain't nobody trying to hear that part, so. I'm going to take the color Mean Streak that we did on the outer V, and I'm going to just put it on the well, lash line real quick. And then I think I might do, like, um... I'm trying to think what color I want to do in waterline. I, I kind of want to do, like, alkaline by um, Urban Decay. I, but I always want to use alkaline by Urban Decay. Like, the lower lash color. That's one of my all-time favorite pencils. That's, like, my shortest pencil out of all my Urban Decay pencils. And it's not like I don't have a lot of Urban Decay pencils. I just always want to use that one. But I got a plummy purple one I'm thinking about using instead of that one since I always use that one. It's from Dose of Colors. I forgot the name of it. So, I might just go ahead and do that. I'm just doing this with y'all on camera since I know I'm not going to do any other eye looks tonight. Because once, like I said, um, Agent Dare gets here, I have movie night with one of my friends. So, we got to go pick up dinner. And then we're going to watch this TV series he's talking about. So, I'm like, I bet. So, it's been trying to um, he was telling me about it or whatever. Because he was like, I need to stop watching YouTube videos all the time. And I'm like, I don't be having no Wi-Fi. So, what you want me to do? Like, my grandma's house has no Wi-Fi, and I have to go house sit every weekend to make sure, you know, she doesn't have any violations on the door. They're not claiming that this is and this is wrong with the property and all that. So, since they always come up with those complaints, I always have to go over there just to make sure that everything is okay. And the weekend's alien gets the... Like my, I always rush. I feel like I'm always rushing and running somewhere. Yeah, and I always just get to relax and just be. And sad as it is, when I get to relax and just be, it's not even at my house. Like it's at my grandma's house, or it's like when I go visit one of my friends, I get to relax and be. I don't really just get to relax and be where I live, which I've always like think is sad because it's like you're supposed to be able to relax and be happy at home, not you know always have to rush off somewhere, rush to do something else, or you know whatever like I have to do. So if you get to relax at home. Don't take it for granted, be glad, because it's um, a thing I rarely get to do. Okay, I'm just watching Skeleton Kiss, this one right here. And then I think I'm going to watch, watch the Champagne Shades from the Day Palette and see how that goes. Let's see which one I like better. Um, this one has a little bit more pink in it than this one, if you can tell. So I think I'm going to go with Skeleton Key just because it has a little more pink in it. And to me, this one is more like a true champagne, and I'm not really big on true champagnes. Um, well, let's watch this pink one and see how I feel about it. And then there's this purple one called Strange Love. Y'all know I would definitely use Strange Love in a heartbeat, but I'm trying to keep it a little more simple, a little bit more toned down. So there's the pink one. And then there's Strange Love. Um, to bring some more of the, um, hmm, I was about to say, to bring some more of the purple in, I think I want to use Strange Love. But yeah, we just going to go with Strange Love because... I told y'all, when some palettes, when I just pick them up and use them, I just automatically have to use certain shades. So, with this one, it's like I have to use Strange Love. Like, I just have to. I'm so sorry. Like, Mean Streak and Strange Love and, um, are the ones I have to use in this palette. I just have to. Like, whenever I pick them up, I'm like, yes, those are the colors that I needed to use in this palette. I'm just hoping I can get a cute picture because it's like damn near 730. So, if I do get a cute picture, it's going to have to be like my friend's bathroom in his house or something like that or at home my glam core before i like go over there it's like i need to go um pick up his headphones because i left them in my grandma's house to make sure you know like i left them out there because i brought my stuff back with me because i knew i had to film today and i was gonna have to come back because like i've told you all before my auntie is um dying of cancer so every day that ends with the day my mom takes her over there so she can see him before you know the inevitable happens but, um, yeah, this is the finished eye look using the She's in Parties and um, 
the Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm actually impressed with this palette, and y'all know I don't get impressed by Charlotte Tilbury. I, I'm not like everybody else. It's like, oh my God, Charlotte, no. So the fact that I'm actually liking this palette, bravo. Now, I wouldn't say spend the 50 whatever dollars, cost, I think it costs $58. Yeah, I'm not saying go spend $58 on this palette by any means. But, you know, since I got it for um, $34, i am fine with it. But, again, you saw the color story. There's not much that I can use it in any way. So, paying $58 for that wouldn't have worked anyway. Because if this is the only stuff I can use out of it, and y'all know I rarely use tones like this, I, it's no purpose. But I like it since I have it. That's pretty much all I had to say about it. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and this look. I'm kind of feeling this kind of a vibe. Like, as you, y'all know how I do. You got to make up your own dual chrome so you don't have to pay somebody $15 for a little bit of pan this big. But, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all the dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.